Welcome to part 6 of my Hanik Empire campaign and the 25 year challenge. Over time the Roman and Hanik cultures merged more and more and through great conquests by High King Belumber II all of Greece is now under Hanik rule. But these are troubled times and things can change quickly. And so welcome to CK3 the Fallen Eagle. Once again, war raged in the empire. The Persians attacked in the east, and at the same time, Thames invaded in the west. The Hunnic army was now one of the largest in the world, but the AI had sent it to the west to stop the Thames invasion. So the Persians won their war against me without me being able to do anything. One war was lost. But Thames' invasion was successfully repelled. In the following years, the empire remained quiet and no external or internal conflicts arose. After some time, Farah II decided to subjugate a small independent group of islands in order to further expand sea and trade control. But the Mauryan king used this opportunity that I was at war to his advantage. His goal was not land but valuable artifacts that had been inherited for generations. Further African kingdoms joined the war. Oh my god! I was able to win the war for the archipelago. The riots led to peasant uprisings among the population. Hello there. However, I was able to put these down quickly. Now I had to protect my country and my artifacts from the African alliance. But as if it wasn't enough, a Persian vassal declared war on me. Oh my god. You idiots. Despite the new threat from Persia, I continued the war against Maria. And in Greece, the first major battle took place, which I clearly won. Nice. Now High King Pharaoh lost no time and ordered his troops to the east to stop the Persian advance. And since the Persian army was widespread, I was able to win here too. But news of the chaos in the empire spread quickly and so more people joined the attacks. Oh really? Are you freaking kidding me? Furthermore, angry parts of the population again caused uprisings. In the following battles against Persia I suffered two defeats because my allies were not at war with them and I had not noticed that. Uh. But before anything worse happened I managed to arrange a white peace. But this was only a small success, because now I had to win the war against the barbarians and Moria invading from the west. All the stress was putting Farah under a lot of strain. But through further negotiations he succeeded in concluding more peace. In the following battles Farah was able to achieve further victories and thus gradually succeeded in winning the remaining wars. Peace was almost within reach. But once again, riots broke out in the empire. But with his last strength, Farah put down the uprisings and expelled the African armies from his empire once and for all. And for the first time in 18 years, peace was restored to the empire. But against many expectations, Farah didn't do anything he could to proceed the newly won peace, but soon declared further wars to take revenge. His first revenge was against Privalatana, but it quickly turned out that revenge was the wrong way to go, because Persia did not hesitate either to declare war on me. And so the next major conflict was not long in coming. I mean it has to be said that it wasn't the smartest idea to directly declare war again, but anyway. <laughs> Moreover, I was under immense time pressure. Privalatana was defeated. But I couldn't do much more before I had to hand over the reins to the AI. For the first few years, the empire did well and more territories were conquered. But with the death of Farad II, the empire sank again into civil war. This however had drastic consequences, as large parts of the empire were lost. But through a second civil war, the empire was in danger of losing even the remaining territories once again. But fortunately, the 25 years were over before anything worse could happen. And my main goal now was to stabilize the empire but also to think about a long term solution so that the empire would not fall apart again and again. 
But while I was taking care of the administration of the empire, I made a decisive mistake that would change everything forever. Oh, please don't tell me I've switched my religion. I don't think, don't think. In a brief moment of carelessness, I accidentally converted to Christianity. Imagine accidentally becoming Christian. <laughs> Just by accident. Oh, misclicked hoops. <laughs> Fuck, I've done something really dumb. Oh, that's not what I wanted. I misclicked. High King Genobold has changed his and thus the state religion. That's not what I wanted to do. That's not what I wanted to do at all. Ah, I, wa I want to. Can I switch my religion? Oh God, now I'm Christian. <laughs> which didn't necessarily help me in this situation. Quite the opposite. But now, there was no turning back. The die has been cast. Ginobald tried to make the best out of the situation and hoped that his new god would guide him. <laughs> we have... What is wrong? We're Christian. We are feudal. We're actually becoming a real empire here. That's not at all what I wanted it to be. Okay, never mind. Battle after battle, I came closer to victory and could finally triumph. But there was not much time left, as the empire was not stable or secure at all. More wars followed to regain the old greatness of the empire and to spread the new faith. Piece by piece, the empire could be rebuilt Dinobald did research on other cultures who managed to hold their empires for hundreds of years. At the same time, I waged wars against Trace to reclaim parts of my empire. But I could neither finish my wars nor my research and had to entrust the empire to the AI once again. But surprisingly, the empire remained relatively stable and intact despite several civil wars and was even able to recapture lost territories. But I had overlooked a decisive detail. The Persians had conquered Constantinople and thus caused great damage to the empire. Emperor Agelmon's first step were to strengthen the defense by founding a holy order. And he also rethought the stabilization of the empire and decided to follow in the footsteps of the Romans and found a new Hunnic Roman Empire which brought incredible benefits. What? Imperial laws, they are back. <laughs> <laughs> they are back. <laughs> That's insane. They look so different since I saw them the last time. And it's very beautiful, so shout out to the mod team. They've done this really, really beautiful. Due to the numerous changes, the flag was also reinvented. All for the honor of Rome.